right behind me, we're planting Celia Thaxter's garden today. And we just got these plants from the UNH greenhouse and they're being put in for the season. At UNH, in the greenhouse in the winter, a student grows the seedlings. And they are original seedlings that we have identified through Celia Thaxter's Island Garden book. I started out initially in January going through and looking at her planting catalog, researching seeds, especially heirloom varieties that came from different parts of the world. I ordered from, I think, 25 different seed houses in order to be able to source everything really appropriately. They're going home. Certain seeds take longer than another in order to germinate, so we had a constant rotation going where every week I had a different set of seeds that would get started. And eventually that rotation started all over again to start second succession so that we'd have continuous blooms throughout the summer season. Today we're doing an installation. We're putting in all of our annuals that um, normally would not have survived the winter. These are the plants that Celia typically would have brought over in her eggshells, placed in sand over from Portsmouth where she grew them during the uh, winter months. I really think that she's here guiding us every step of the way. You know, she left a legacy with her book that we can follow, but the, the fingerprint is here and we're really enjoying having this all laid out for us. There is one map of the garden and its layout and I downloaded an island garden on my iPad and I'm kind of integrating the old with the new right there, but I think she'd approve. But I would love to see what nature does with them. Just... Celia Thaxter herself was a conservationist, so I think she'd be very happy to see this garden remain here today and to also recognize the importance that this garden has played over time on this particular island in so many ways from the artist colony to this marker for how land use has changed out here to the educational opportunities that are in the garden today for our students. I'm really fascinated by New Hampshire's landscape, our ecosystems, and the people who have really helped found this uh, awareness for environmentalism and, and for the plants here. So I feel really lucky to have been able to have been a part of this and to be the one chosen to care for all of these plants that someone else has cared for for so many years. Two places are kind of in the middle. We really enjoy it and it's such a great way of getting the horticultural group working with the Shoals Marine group and, and so on. There are so many different factions here on the island that it's just awesome to see it all come together.